Everyone stop. So we got a call for a Jeep that has a broken axle. It's on the fault line trail. So we're going to head out here in the wrecker, see if we can get it scooped up. We got Colin with the weather. It is a cool, crisp 52. Is that what it is? I don't know, actually. <laughs> but it's a nice, clear day, couple of clouds. It's going to be an awesome day. We got Tom, Colby, and Jake behind us in what's left of the Tangerine. We are riding behind Matt in the Tangerine. We're going into Warner Valley which is huge, so I have really no idea if we're going like just a minute in or like this is gonna be an hour long drive, but we'll follow the wrecker and see what happens. Hey, it's a good day to go down here on the road. We got the whole crew with us, even the dogs. I got my tangerine windbreaker on because we don't have a windshield. I'm realizing it would have been a good day to bring the glasses. I think we're gonna get them out. All right, this is the beginning of the fall line trail. The pin he dropped me has him up on top of this. It doesn't look like you're working too hard. No, this little Hummer's crushing it. Okay, it's easy going from here on out. So I used to be a real estate appraiser trainer and I used to take my appraiser trainees that they brought me from all over the country up that trail right there. And it looks a lot sketchier than it really is in real life. So all of them would freak out. <laughs> I had one guy from New York City who was just like, oh, I've never done anything like this in my life. It is a cool, cool trail. I really like driving the Tangerine because I don't worry about what's gonna happen to it because what can happen to it that hasn't already happened to it? I see people. Yep, I see the Jeep. It's up there. How do you get up there? Uh, did they just drive up these rocks? I don't know. Do you see any tire marks? I'm not seeing any. Right here? Right here? Let's walk up there and look. Yeah, this is the trail right That's here. tire marks. Oh, wow. We can either come straight up here or up this way. So both axles are sliding out. Yep. We snapped that one and then they drug it sideways to pull us out and realized that that one was coming out too. So, so we got to get this up and strap those in so that we have brakes. So I've just got to get backed up right here and pick this up. And then we've got to drag this off both, here. Both are coming out. Yeah. So are these retained by C-clips and you lost both? They are. Yeah. It's just a, that's a Dana 35. It's just, just a Dana 35. Yeah. Well, Last climb right there. Yeah, we came up. We came up from over that side. No. Down through here and around. So Matt wants to bring the tangerine up here so that we can strap it in the back, and when we're going down something steep, we can use it to help with the braking. So we're gonna follow him up here. Fitted for off-road recovery yet. We're gonna be putting a soft shackle right around right there. And then we'll put another 
soft shackles right there. Yeah, we need to build a bumper, don't we? Yeah. How strong's your back bumper? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't know either. It's got some welds on it that we broke last no, week when we dropped already, it anyway. When he's dropping yeah. off things, it's already pushing yeah. into his yeah. body. So we're going to have to grab under here. Yeah. So these are going to go around the axle. Let's go outside the spring under the brake line. Under? Yeah, that way. Well, at least on my side. How does yours look? Uh, getting under is going to be tough, but that would probably be better. This one's all bent to pieces. This one's not. There it is. Okay. All right. This bumper still might flex a little when you. It, it'll flex a little, but that it is what it is. Better than leaving it here. Better than ripping, yeah. ripping it off. So we'll put these inside here. So when I tighten these up, just make sure they rest nice. Okay, Tom, I'm gonna want you now putting pressure on, on the front. The, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Tom's gonna be your brakes for a minute till we get these. I put gotta up. back up quite a bit before that's gonna do anything. Okay. Okay, right there. Hold it. Okay, Colin. Don't touch the brakes. Start this thing up. And then let's take it out of four wheel drive. So we gotta put it in too high. Okay, that should be too high right there. Alright, I'm gonna pick you up now. The exhaust pipe is on the strap. You can only turn it on when you need to steer. So we gotta get this thing this way. So go ahead and start it and turn to the left. Okay. Turn it off for a second. Put that in park and come back. Let's try to put these back in. What's coming out? Brake parts. Brake parts? That's what it looks out. like. Ah, I think you're losing the shoe. Yeah. Oh yeah, up, up top here. Yeah, that's not gonna go in. You wanna just, do we have a strap? We could just hold them so they don't come out. No, so they're not gonna come out. You don't think they'll balance their way loose? Okay, they're this good. one is back in. Yeah, yeah. Right I'd out. like to get both of them in and tie them together. Okay, this one's gonna have to come back out a little bit. Okay. And that top shoe's gotta be good. Oh, it's bent. Hammer. Let's get that hammer. Is that clear Maybe? Yeah. It looks like it should slip on. Oh, it's slipping on. Yeah, it's like it's like halfway. It needs to come like another three quarters okay, of Okay, we'll come put, put some pressure on this. Well. A little bit more, but it's not all the way. If we could hold it there now with a strap. Try and strap it in somehow. Yeah. Are you going to try and lift these really high so they don't ever bump and try to roll? Yeah, they don't have a strap, that's the problem. If he bro if he hit the brakes now, I don't know what would happen back here. Hit the brakes gently. You got brakes? No. Pump them. He's lost a bunch of fluid back here, this cylinder's leaking. Okay. It's already <laughs> over. There's not going to be brakes. There's no brakes. Okay, well, you're the brakes. I'm following closely. So four, four low. Low brakes. brakes. Lots of brakes. Okay, tell me how you're getting out of here. The same exact way that I came in. Same way you came in. Right they here. came a different way. It might be easier. And it was easier. supposed to be rated a three or a four. Oh, let's just go out that way then. Straight's better than crooked. That's going to be the easiest way. So out. this is going all the way to the water tanks. Yeah, which is not as far as it seems. It seems far. I need the camera guys to tell me whether I'm booming up or booming down or what I need to do. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. We're going off this fin. You're good. You're looking good. Cut the other way a little bit. Hold up, everyone stop, everyone stop. 
someone was falling out. Quite literally. He sent the parking brake, Colin. We have any rope or anything we can strap that with? That did it. Man, this is gnarly. Yeah, it is. We got some more gnar to get through right here, but we'll do it. Tom, you're about to drop, don't worry. Come forward a little bit. He's on the rock, he's dropping now. We're good. Okay, now this axle's falling out. Tom, back up a little. All right. Turn it off, Colin. Right there. All right. That'll keep it from falling out too far. Yeah, this will keep it from falling out completely, I think. Yeah. Okay. This is gnarly. We should have gone the other way. Holy smokes! I thought we were on the recommended path. So you guys didn't come from this way. We came down right behind him. Oh, you down. got it spun around? Huh? Yeah, we came in. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh man. We can do this, we've just got to take it slow. Colin's going to have to work to keep his nose out of there and he's going to have to kind of steer uphill and even if it slides down, it, it won't, it shouldn't, but he's just got to be okay. uphill. I could go down this a million different ways. This can only go down it one way. Okay. I don't want to ride this wall. Yeah, you want to be in it. Yeah, so how am I doing? You're, you're perfect. You're in. You're dropping in right now. This tire just touched down, which is our problem right now. It's not a problem. I can huh? pick, I can pick it up. Okay. So there's all kinds of controls that can get us out of all kinds of problems. I like where this tire is. I like where that tire is. Everything's looking really good. Looking good. He's clear. Good? Yeah. We're, we're down. We're down. All of you. You're good. Are you sure? You're looking good, Tom. Okay. Keep on that line. Oh. We're good. good. Okay. Keep coming. We're good. Looking good, Tom. You're gonna drop the back off here soon. You're gonna drop off here soon. Keep going. You're down. Tom's good. You're gonna come off this pretty hard. Slow, Tom.
Okay. That's good. Oh, that's good. We got a disconnect from all this. We made it down. We did. That was nuts. So I think once I get up to the haul road, I don't need any braking. So, and at that point, you can turn around and go get the rest of the stuff. Meet us at the water tanks. Okay, that should ride. Okay, I'll follow so, you. The worst is behind us, but the rest is still in front of us. Okay, I'm gonna take it easy. We're gonna send this whole crew back the way we came in to get blue steel and the rollback and we're gonna head to the water tanks and then we're gonna meet them there and do some other things. That road took us right back to our truck where we need to be, so we loaded up the tangerine, and Jake's taking the rollback. We're gonna go meet up with Matt right now at the water tanks. All right, so we are here at the rendezvous point. Not exactly the rendezvous point. We told them the water tanks, but we are going to cut them off at the pass, just because it's easier. So we're waiting for them. How are the good dogs doing? They had a pretty good run today. Don't worry, they've had plenty of water. In fact, they're still wet from being in the water. How was the ride, Colin? He gave it a thumbs up. Yeah, they don't shrink, so. Jake's gonna take you to Sand Mountain Off Road and that'll be that. Thank you guys so much. Right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, you guys so are much. awesome. We made that a lot harder than it should have been. And for that, I apologize, but it was a learning experience for us all. That was a good time. Thanks for watching. You know how to get back, Jake? <laughs> he gave you the directions, not me. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, do you guys know where we're going? Yeah.